So morning then, it's uh, Sunday, half past nine. Another uh, slightly drizzly day, it's not a very nice day, it's a bit iffy, there we go. Um, had a really good week this week. Been to the gym twice. Hiya, your eyes. Um, went also on Tuesday to the football. A very nice nil-nil draw against Spurs, that'll do nicely. Spurred on by the fact that uh, Jermaine Defoe uh, uses token sport, so it works for him. It's got to work for me. Had some token sport just now. Gave it about 10 or 15 minutes, let it kick in. Having a little walk to the end of uh, the road where I live and going to do 5k. Going to get extra help this week in terms of advice from world marathon record holder. No pressure there then, uh, Paula Radcliffe. So for a lot of people, if they haven't done much running, but they maybe do other things, they go swimming or cycling, or maybe you know, maybe they, they go to a gym or a fitness class. I mean, do, can you mix all that? Is that going to help you get ready for the tank here? Absolutely. I think it's, it's going to help you a lot. So you only really need to be running once, twice a week to get ready to, to run a 10K. As long as you're in the gym or in the pool or some or out on your bike, just doing something that's cardio, something that's working the endurance system, working the cardiovascular system, and then when you run you try and do a little bit of what we call race pace so getting close to, to the pace you want to sustain for the 10k right so that's uh, just under 5k done Sunday morning um, found that one quite hard but did a decent time about 23 minutes I'm quite happy with that um, if you want to join up for the 10k you can find all the information on the website <laughs>